What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Marcos and today we have a new Boost device, a new Boost phone from LG. This one's called the LG K22 and it's a new model that we just received the last week of January 2021. We just got these in a couple days and we're gonna unbox it, see what it's all about. And before we get started, don't forget to subscribe and like the video as it helps out the channel. Also, if you have any questions, you can ask them in the comments below as we'll try and answer them for you. So let's get started. So what's in the box? In the box, we do get a, a micro USB charger, not even a type C charger for this phone. Uh, we get a charging brick with a USB port in there. And uh, there we go. And then here's the phone itself. Let's turn it on. All right, so let's start with pricing. So this device starts retails for $89.99. It's actually on sale for new customers and upgrade customers for $59.99. It also has an add a line promotion in store. So let's say you're a customer that has a line on a $50 plan and you want to add a line. You can get us, you can get one of these phones for $15 uh, if you add it to your plan. So it'd be $30 more to add it to your plan, $15 for the device. So a real good steal uh, for this device. Here in front of the box, we do see that we get a, a 6.2 HD, HD plus display, full vision um full vision notch display it says so um so we don't have any buttons at the bottom or anything like that we do have the front facing camera on the top it is a five megapixel camera on the sides we do have the sim card slot and we do have like the okay google button here on the left on the right we do have the volume rockers and the power button right here at the bottom we do have the micro usb um, charging port and microphone hole on the top we do have the headphone jack and another microphone hole for like the speakerphone so yep in the back we do have two cameras the main camera being a 13 megapixel camera the secondary camera being a 2 megapixel macro camera so two cameras in the back built in we do have a 3000 milliamp battery so you cannot uh open this phone up it's already sealed in there most phones now are built-in batteries and um inside the phone we do have uh 32 gigs of memory after software and everything you only get about 21 gigs available from the start and you also get a 2 gig ram processor so basic starter phone for 89 dollars or even 15 dollars if you had a line i think it's a good deal uh this is an upgrade from the LG Monarch because it has a bigger display. Uh, it's also right in between from the K51 and the Monarch just because it's 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 right in the middle price wise. K51 retails for $150, $100, and then the Stylo 6 retails for about $200 to $100. So this is right in the middle, and uh, it's a good starter phone. So let's test out like the camera. Let's see what it's all about. All right. So for the camera test, we do have a Ninja Turtle right there on the table. Uh, the Ninja Turtle is about uh, four feet away from us. And the only thing this phone I think is missing, the zoom is very well, it's very good. But I don't think the only thing is missing is like more lighting. It needs to pick up more lighting. And we do have a little mini hand sanitizer right there. And that's what it looks like from our view. Um, looking at the zooming in to the Ninja Turtle. It's kind of blurry. Let me see if I can stabilize it. So entry level phone, like I said, it's nothing crazy. If hundred bucks, you get a decent camera. Uh, I think um, it has a really nice zoom. You can see that Honda over there. So it has really nice zoom. You can see the whole store here. So very basic camera, nothing crazy. So here's the camera settings. You can go in here. You can actually record up to 1080p. So maybe if we change that, we might be able to get better, better view. You can change the ratios of the cameras. So here's all the ratios you get. And let's see. You can even do a location. But not many, there's not that many features in the camera. So HDR, you can turn it on and off and let's test out the front facing camera how do we do that let's 
So the front facing camera, um, pretty basic. There's not many, there's not much settings on here. I guess you can put some filters on it. There we go, that one looks cool. So basic camera, not many filters. Um, let's go back to the main one. You can also do the filters in the front. That one looks cool. Yeah, so very basic camera. Not much going on there. Let's try uh let's try some music for some sound. See how loud the speakers are. And uh yeah. All right, let's test out some music. Let's see how loud this phone is. Um, let's try some audio jungle since it's not copyrighted. Let's hit play. So we have one back speaker right here. Not the loudest, but uh, that's the job. This phone does remind me to the, maybe like the LG Tribute or LG X Power. Feels like it's the same design, just maybe an updated version. Not super loud, but um, pretty basic device. For music, I would give it like a, for music, I would probably give it like a six. It's not the loudest, it's not the, it's not too quiet, but it's not the loudest and it's pretty basic. Now let's test out the display. Let's see how good it looks. And let's see how the colors look and see if we can get some 4K video on it. Sound, that's all the sound it goes. It's not the loudest, like I said. You only get one speaker in the back. It's a very entry level device. I think for $59 for a new customer or free when you switch over, it's okay, but I would probably go with something else, more uh, high-end, faster processor and uh, RAM as well, I think it would be better. So not Mega HD or anything like that, it's decent, it does the job, but yeah, you can tell it's an entry-level device. guys a quick unboxing of this device the lg k22 i think this is a very entry level device like i said it only retails 90 dollars or 59 dollars if you're a new customer or even free if you switch over to boost but it's a very entry level device i think um from all the lg devices we have out right now i would give it like a five or a six out of ten just because it's not it doesn't have anything that wows you uh maybe just the battery but the design feels like uh, an older model that used to be called the LG Tribute HD or maybe the LG X Power. It has the same design pretty much. Um, very entry level and I don't know. I, I expected more from LG this time. But uh, yeah, uh, so quick unboxing like I said. And if you have any questions, let me know below. Thank you very much for watching. Have a good one.